And today I'm going to detail how the fat-derived insulin sensitizing hormone adiponectin reduces lung and bronchial inflammation for someone with any degree of asthma, particularly if that individual is also dealing with obesity. I'm also going to detail some easy and practical ways to support both adiponectin production and improved lung function overall. Even though adiponectin is derived from fat tissue, concentrations of adiponectin are sharply reduced in obesity, and the excessive insulin production and consequential insulin resistance are the driving forces behind this. Multiple cell types in the lungs have adiponectin binding proteins, including the bronchial epithelium, airway smooth muscle, and also the pulmonary vasculature. So this is why consistent and adequate adiponectin production results in far faster healing of bronchial epithelial cells, and also why people who are consistently deficient in adiponectin can develop emphysema-like changes in the lungs as they age. One instigator of an asthma attack is an excess of inducible nitric oxide synthase, which causes airway inflammation, hyperresponsiveness, and also airway remodeling, which are all classic features of asthma. Adiponectin is a powerful activator of the metabolic master switch enzyme activated monophosphate protein kinase, or AMPK, which itself is a key regulator of energy and also inhibits several inflammatory enzymes. In the lungs, this adiponectin-induced AMPK suppresses excessive nitric oxide while promoting repair and proliferation of the bronchial epithelial cells. Adiponectin also suppresses the inflammatory cytokine tumor necrosis factor alpha and matrix metalloproteinase 12, a component of the airway hyperresponsiveness seen in asthma. The airway smooth muscle, which secretes inflammatory cytokines and becomes excessively thick in cases of asthma, is actually responsible for the asthmatic constriction of the bronchioles. Oxidation is also a part of this process, as the inflammation provoked by external allergens or other triggers generates tissue damage, leading to epithelial cell dysfunction and fibrosis, or scarring, of the airway smooth muscle. Adiponectin receptors are present in the airway smooth muscle, so when adiponectin production is consistent, adiponectin can neutralize this hyperresponsiveness of the airway smooth muscle, while also protecting against oxidation from external toxins like pollution and cigarette smoke. While daily exercise is the best and easiest way to increase adiponectin production, I've mentioned before how certain nutraceuticals like fish oil, CoQ10, and the B vitamins support adiponectin production. Specifically, the omega-3 eicosapentaenoic acid, or EPA, suppresses the macrophage activation of both nuclear factor kappa B and tumor necrosis factor alpha, while also enhancing the activity of adiponectin. Similarly, the B vitamin niacin also decimates tumor necrosis factor alpha while supporting adiponectin's blood cleansing of ceramides, which are toxic byproducts generated from prolonged exposure to a refined carbohydrate and high-fat diet. And the fat-soluble antioxidant CoQ10 augments adiponectin's insulin-sensitizing and inflammation-balancing activity while also sharply reducing adiponectin's oppositional hormone resistance and neutralizing the oxidative stress that can otherwise greatly hinder optimal adiponectin production. Maintaining high levels of glutathione, the master detoxifying antioxidant, is also a vital part of supporting adiponectin. Because glutathione's diminishment of oxidative stress and resulting oxidative damage greatly facilitates adiponectin production. And N-acetylcysteine, or NAC, which is the direct supplemental precursor to building glutathione in the body, also suppresses inflammatory cytokines and immunoglobulin E, which itself is a major instigator of asthmatic airway inflammation. Regular intake of NAC vastly improves lung capacity overall, which is obviously quite useful for daily exercise. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.